Hi, and welcome to Harmer, ImageLine's Additive Subtractive Synthesizer, Audio Resynthesizer, and Image Synthesizer. Today we'll look at what we mean by Additive Subtractive Synthesis. First I'll draw your attention to the Spectral Display window. This can be very useful to have open when you are learning Harmer. You can open it by clicking on this icon here. It shows, when I play a note, time on the horizontal axis, and frequency on the vertical axis, according to harmonics in the waveform. So here is the fundamental frequency, defining the note's pitch, and the harmonic series that adds together to create the timbre or tone of the waveform. To demonstrate, I'll add an oscilloscope from Wave Candy. Here's a saw wave. Saw because it looks like the teeth of a saw. And here's a square wave. And you can morph between the two. Notice the series of partials for each waveform is different. And here's a key point. Any waveform can be made by adding sine waves or partials at varying frequencies, volumes and phases. This is the basis of additive synthesis, and it's how Harmer generates sound, additively. To prove that, I'll subtractively filter my square wave to show the sine wave partial components that make it up. First we'll expose the fundamental using a low pass filter. And here's the sine wave that relates to the fundamental pitch. And as I allow through more partials, you can see the sine wave morph into a square wave again. As we're applying subtractive synthesis techniques to our additive partials, that's why we say Harmer is an additive subtractive synthesizer. To demonstrate the partials are sine waves too, I'll use a custom filter shape to let through a single partial frequency at a time and sweep it up through the frequency spectrum. Okay, so here's the fundamental. And now the next partial. And the next. And the next. And notice they're all sine waves. These are additive components summing to create a square wave. While I have the custom filter open, notice that it's simply filtering partials according to the shape I set, a rectangle. I can sweep it. Or make it wider. Okay, back to where we were. Saw versus square, all created from a different set of partials. So that's why we say Harmer has an additive synthesis engine. One final point, what you're seeing on the spectral display isn't an analysis of sine waves as audio. It's the data sent to the synthesis engine before it's synthesized. That is, these are instructions to play sine waves. So when we filter these partials, what we're doing is not sending them to the engine to be generated. There is no audio involved in Harmer's synthesis until we reach the effects units. If you click on the advanced tab, that's why the effects are outside and after the processing unit list. So this filter, a classic subtractive synthesis tool, and this phaser on additive synthesis data or instructions, not audio. And again, that's why we call Harmer an additive synthesizer doing subtractive synthesis. In the next video, we'll take a deeper look at working with Harmer, because, of course, Harmer can do a lot more than just saw and square waves. Oh.